Hi, I'm Emma Allen, the cartoon editor of The New Yorker magazine, and today I have with me Emily Flake, a cartoonist. You might notice the absence of one surly Brit, Colin Stokes, associate cartoon editor of The New Yorker magazine. He and another cartoonist are in Korea on vacation. When the cat's away, <laughs> the, the mouse ladies. will talk about lady cartoon stuff. Yep. This is going to be the grossest cartoon <laughs> lounge ever. You're going to learn a lot. Yeah. <laughs> in the latest issue of the New Yorker magazine, Emily Flake has this full page comic strip. These are things that I'm afraid my daughter will be doing in the year 2026. Worst case scenarios and just sort of like personal worst case scenarios, which is like she gets into the Grateful Dead. Like th that fear is never gonna go away. I fear it for myself. And wake up with a puka shell necklace. Oh my God, yeah. that really. I brought in or printed out some of your <laughs> cartoons about parenting and babies that have appeared in the magazine. This is not your exclusive beat. She thinks it's a touch screen. I think I did this before I even had a kid, and I will tell you that, like, that's not even really a joke. We're looking for a pediatrician who reflects our design sensibility. I love this one. It says, Daddy's binky is money. I just feel like, you know, money is a security blanket to those who work in finance, I guess. I don't know. But this this is like, you're right. <laughs> yeah, this one might be one of my favorite cartoons that I've done. This is The Little Mermaid 10 Years Later. This is a really mean cartoon, but my absolute favorite part of this is their child sitting on the floor here, which is like a half mermaid, half human, except he's like the wrong half. You also brought, I haven't seen these right. you brought in some work for me to um, critique. Peruse. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter is often like, bring this into your boss when she draws a picture. She asked me for seven pieces of paper recently and said she was going to make a chapter book. So this is two people playing ping pong and she said that she sounded out how to write ping pong, even though it says pig pana, and I really don't have the heart to tell her how wrong <laughs> she is. This says love, L-O-E-V, and there are two people hugging. They look insane. A calipiter. <laughs> What's nice is that she seems to have really absorbed the life cycle of a caterpillar. And then it ends with just a smiling self-portrait. So What happened over here? Uh, she, I don't know. She has said that she wants to be um, a jokester artist like Mama. Ooh, um, jokester artist. A jokester artist, which is what I put on my tax returns. <laughs> so she definitely wants to do something with like stories and drawing. Um, and I really hope that she gets the chance to do those things instead of fighting the robot wars. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs>